Hi guys, this is Matt from uh, Offroad Express. Today we're going to show you how to install this electric uh, roller bed cover from OFD. Have a look how it works. So the first step before you're actually going to be installing the roller on a, on a vehicle is to prepare the roller and the side skirts like in here. Uh, simply speaking, this is, the, uh, this is the back of the roller and this is the left hand side uh, side skirt. You have to flip it up, upside down and get one of the uh, rails like this, insert in here. Use uh, six of those uh, T-slot uh, nuts and insert them in the, in the wider part of the, of the rail. Five of them will go to the back of the vehicle and one will go forward. And you want two of them up front, two of them in the middle and two uh, in, the, in the back. Now you grab those um, Allen key bolts. And one of the Allen key bolts goes through the hole in the, in the skirt. And one goes on the side. Make sure you put them the, the right or with the right orientation with the Allen key uh, hole inside, outside the skirt, so you can actually tighten them up later on. You have to tighten, tighten them by hand first and then using uh, three of the 10 millimeter nuts uh, bolt the skirt to the to the side rail just like that okay and use the 10 mil spanner don't go too tight this is only holding the side skirt nothing else that's it the next thing before installing the rail to the case is uh, you have to rip those plastic covers out. Just hold them. And that's it. You don't have to unscrew the bolts. Just rip it out. And there's two of them on each side. Uh, rip them out. And uh, while installing the rail onto the case, make sure not to uh, damage that little switch in here. To make things easier, uh, we'll have to cut the zip tie in here. Now you have to install the rail to the case box using those uh, three Allen key uh, bolts. Uh, before you do that, make sure the uh, shutter is uh, open enough like that so you can actually introduce the this part to the actual rail. And you do that on angle before you proceed. Hold the sensor switch uh, with, with one of your hand and uh, about 30 degrees is the best position for it to, to actually enter. You can have your friend to help you raise it to the, to the right level. This is a little bit difficult, but yeah, this is it. Push it forward and then the last bit is that little notch on the back that have to be slided like that. There you go, that's all done. All you have to do now is uh, fetch those three bolts from underneath um, and tighten up with the four mil Allen key. I use the ball end, uh, which makes uh, things much easier. If you're having trouble uh, tighten, tightening those three bolts, uh, you can remove the uh, skirt and move those uh, uh, T-slot nuts uh, inside, the, inside the rails and realign them correctly and then try again. Now you have to connect the wire harness for the limit switches. Uh, they are properly labeled, so you won't be uh, uh, misleaded. And the long one obviously goes to the back of the vehicle, the front one goes up in here. Now uh, to make things easier, we're gonna be flipping the whole uh, case uh, upwards, like this. Have your friends uh, holding on the other side 
and we will be using uh, those little sticky straps and a zip tie to uh, neatly put the wire harness out of the out of the way and to keep it keep it keep it nice and safe. The cable tie you have cut uh, before, you can now put it back on in the same place. There you go. Cut it off. And now use the sticky uh, sticky uh, sticky cable ties. And you want to keep the cables as close as possible to that uh, additional rail because uh, in here uh, the whole uh, shutter will be resting on the, on the vehicle. Now I'll show you this step uh, in here while it's still visible. Once you have the whole thing installed on the, on the vehicle, you will have to uh, include this uh, drainage tube inside. Tread it just lightly, you don't have to use the tool. And the other part goes uh, into the side of, um, of, the, of the bed. Uh, you will have to uh, drill a hole big enough to include this rubber grommet. Now this part you can do on the vehicle or before installing the whole uh, roller shutter. It doesn't really matter. You have to put the cover up top. Make sure you have the opening center with the, with the threads. Use those um, plastic covers and those tiny bolts to um, hold tight the, the whole cover to the, to the casing. And I do recommend using a small amount of a medium strength uh, Loctite, the green one usually. Usually it's the green one. Firstly, you wanna have uh, three of those bolts on each side, tighten just gently. Then you wanna make sure everything is center and just tighten them fully after, after you made uh, sure this is, this is all in a good position. They don't have to be super tight. And the last bit is the plastic covers. That's it. Now, before you going to put the whole shutter onto the vehicle, it's definitely recommended to clean the, the sides of the bed and the front of the bed where the seal will go. Um, otherwise, the dirt that, will, that you will leave in here will just, over time, will the dimension scratch the, 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 the plastic or the paint, whichever, whichever you have. Now we're going to first to remove the old seal. I will definitely pick it up later on. And it's quite important to clean it. And uh, in the kit, you have this little uh, adhesive promoter. This is uh, basically, uh, this, this thing will clean the, um, the place where you put uh, uh, the seal and the seal will hold up uh, nice and tight. You simply open it and just rub it. Now, once uh, the front end of the, of the bed is uh, dry and clean, uh, we will apply the, the seal onto it. It's got a sticky tape on it. And the excess you'll just have to cut with the knife or scissors. Make sure it's nice and straight. Otherwise, uh, the water will go between the plastics and the, and the seal. And the last step before installing the shutter, if it's an electric one, you will have to install the wire harness. We'll start from the back, this way forward, and this is gonna go under the vehicle to the battery. Uh, you Definitely don't want to put the fuse holder in first because this is just going to be in the way. And the way we're going to rotate it is uh, through that little access hole in here. 
under the vehicle. If you don't have the access hole, don't use the bottom one because this is the drainage hole and we will be using it for draining the, the water from the casing. This one is, uh, if it's not available, uh, you basically have to drill one uh, yourself. So we'll start with this end. Now you want to leave about 40, 50 centimeters. This is the maximum that you need. And uh, just in case not to pull it through the hole, just do a little tiny loop just to secure it. Now you want to fetch the cable from under, under here because it's all got tangled up in the, in the bed. Just be careful, watch your eyes because it's definitely dirty and uh, use some protective gloves. There you go. Hey! Well done! <laughs> now, fitting this is quite simple, but if you don't feel confident, uh, make sure to use uh, professional help. Uh, if you do, do it yourself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a few uh, tips how to do it safely uh, so nothing will wear out over time because you're probably gonna be using this, uh, this product for, a, for a quite a long time. Use the electrician tape. In the places where you wanna fit the cable, cable ties to secure the, uh, the wiring, uh, it's already in a plastic casing, but if you don't want it to wear out over time, uh, put, it, put the electric tape over it. The paper one is probably the, the best as it's also a fireproof and this is a good standard. There you go. And now before you put the cable tie over it, this will probably wear out over time just by rubbing. Your vehicle will move all, all, all the time, non-stop. And what you want to do is grab this little uh, washer. You can, you can grab a bigger one. If you have, just make sure it's stainless steel as it's going to be under, under the vehicle. Uh, make a little loop. Most of, most of the part goes through, through this, around the cable. And now you can actually tighten the zip tie nice and tight. It's not going to be squishing the cable, not going to damage the cable inside. And it's not going to be moving thanks to the tape. So yeah, just like that. Now the shortest way to route the cable is just under the cab, above the frame mounts. This is going to be storing the cable out of the way. It's not going to, you're not going to damage it later on. Uh, let me show you where it is. Grab a camera. The best way to route the cable uh, to keep it safe uh, is to put it above the frame mount. This is your frame mount and this is the cab already. Uh, there's the back of the vehicle, there's the front one. This is the first mount uh, counting from the back of the vehicle. And you're just gonna put the cable uh, right here. If you can see it above the frame mount. There's also a little hole inside which you can use to uh, zip tie the whole thing. And then uh, if you go further, further down the front of the vehicle, uh, you'll find this uh, wire loom mounted to the frame and as you see someone already maybe even factory uh, put the zip tie holding this cable so we'll do the same we'll just use the cable ties around this and this one goes down to the front so yeah it should be nice and easy Ah, dirty mouth. In the case you've choose the routing that uh, uses the most of the cable and uh, you've lacking a, a little bit of a uh, of a cable up the front, uh, you you can actually put it all the way in because the cable on the on the shutter is long enough to stick it inside. You don't want to lose the uh, socket, so we're just gonna zip tie something large onto it. We're just gonna zip tie the the electric tape uh, uh, onto the end of it. And there you go. 
Once you have the wire, wire harness rooted under the cab, uh, now you want to proceed with uh, connecting, it, connecting it to the, to the battery uh, just before you're actually going to mount it in place, secure it, otherwise you won't be able to move it. Now we have uh, our cable resting down there under the frame. Uh, up to under or almost under the engine and you want to be routing it up to the battery and this is probably the most difficult part but we have a little tip for you just grab a little rope uh, a tape like this anything that can go uh, from above down under and stick it in here where you when you want your cable rooted now you want this cable to be rooted uh, close to the battery close to the wheel uh, as far away from the engine as possible uh, because the engine is obviously a source of heat and it can damage any, any cable further on. Uh, so we've put it, put it the, the, this one down under. Uh, we'll just secure it in here somehow. This is going to stay. And then we want to clamp our wire harness to this cable. Just pull it out. Job's all good. Now gently uh, you want to pull the cable out. Uh, this is pretty much uh, how much you're going to get, uh, how much of a cable you're going to get in uh, RAM uh, 1500. Uh, in, case, uh, in case you have uh, less than this, uh, make sure it's not tangled anywhere on the way, on the way through here uh, or loose a little bit on the, on the back. Uh, before connecting the, the wire, you want to connect the, the fuse I've told you before uh, not to not to keep it in here uh, this is pretty simple it just snaps in snaps in here uh, and we are going to connect the wires like that yeah, like this so the fuse goes on the red wire plus and the other wire goes on the on the minus we'll use 10 mil socket or wrench Now you want to mount the uh, uh, fuse holder somewhere, somewhere safe, so it won't uh, get dis uh, disconnected while you drive. We're just going to use a zip tie. Make sure the cables are in a nice place. And this is still easy to access later on if you need to replace the fuse. You probably won't need to do it anyway. And this cable, when you route it like this, you can still use the terminal covers. Now we, the, the other cable, uh, the minus, the black one, we will connect it like this, hold it in here uh, so it won't be moving moving too much. And this one as well will be mounted to the terminals. This is definitely the easiest way to do it. If you need to remove the battery or replace the battery or disconnect it, uh, you will also disconnect the shutter in the same, in the same manner. Now that we have our cables uh, routed and connected to the battery, uh, our bed is cleaned, we can finally put the, the shutter onto the bed and proceed with the connecting, finishing everything. Now we're going to cut the previously prepared tape and you know there's there's no way you can uh, you can misunderstand uh, which uh, which cable uh, is which but this is still labeled it says power on it this is the one you you want to connect it until it clicks you can then insert the whole thing inside once you have your cable connected you can then move the whole shutter to the end. There you go. Watch your fingers. Now you want to make sure the seal is seated properly.
You want to make sure this uh, the whole thing is exactly in the middle. And pushed all the way forward. This is it, perfect. Now you have your shutter in the right place. You will be using those clamps, three on each side of the of the shutter, two mounted to the to the bed. And uh, this little clamp goes directly to the bed. It literally clamps the, the side of the bed and the other part is mounted to the shutter using the bolts you've uh, previously installed already. You want to have this clamp open as much as it's, it is possible uh, with the bolt installed uh, before you mount it here. And this is the orientation. You want to have all three clamps installed, but not uh, not too tight, as this is still have to be uh, moved and set uh, in a, in the right uh, dimension for the shutter to operate freely. So first thing, the 10 mil uh, uh, nut, uh, put it on, don't tighten it, and then you want to put some weight on the on the on the skirt and tighten the Allen key bolts, and this is going to stay in this space. If the top bolt is too loose, you want to hold it like uh, like I'm doing, so it's uh, it is in the right place. It's not going to drop too low. Now, before you tighten the 10 mil nuts, you want to get this distance right, so the shutter will move freely. For this, we use this little uh, panel. It's a little bit wider than the shutter, and it goes like that. And this will stretch both um, skirts to the right size. So you want to keep it here. This is okay. And now you want to tighten the 10 mil nut. Now you want to move the panel back, stretch it again. There you go. Grab a 10 mil. Now the important part of fitting the top of the tube is this clamp. You want to have this oriented like this, so you will be still able to uh, use the um, screwdriver and this is not going to be sticking out like that. So put it on, make sure it's nice and loose. Squeeze it in, flip it up, twist it so it's out of the way, and now you can tighten it. It doesn't have to be super tight. Now, as I showed you before, uh, you have to install the uh, the front drainage tube under the under the shutter. Uh, don't forget the rubber seal. Uh, and on the other side, you will have to drill a 44, 45 millimeter hole. Uh, it's about uh, one and three, uh, three quarters of an inch. Uh, and you have this little rubber gasket to go over, over this uh, to seal it properly. So this one goes in the back of a, uh, of a vehicle. Trim that uh, last part of, um, of a seal. This is going to be sticking out, so you just have to cut it down a little bit. Included in the set, you have this uh, little fancy holder. Uh, it's uh, very neat. You just need to stick it on a flat surface somewhere inside the vehicle and you can just use it uh, one of the remote uh, as just uh, any other switches in the, in the vehicle keep it inside you can remove it anytime and have the other one with the car keys put the batteries in, uh, inside the remote this is a cr2032 there's only one goes in the one remote you have two remotes 
That's it guys, your shutter is installed. I hope I made it uh, pretty simple. Let us know in the comments what you think, if you want more instruction uh, uh, manuals like this uh, on, the, on our YouTube channel. Just remember to give us a thumbs up, follow us on Facebook, Instagram and, uh, and YouTube. See you next time.